Right, lads, I'm Josh. Yeah. Right, lads, so Cradle, we're going to go back a week, so when we did that dance, and I'm going to put a little sequence on how you can finish your dance differently. So I'll get the same Cradle. Remember when we're hitting these submissions from here, I've got an S grip now. My top hand grabs his wrist, remember? As I grab his wrist, I'm going to pull his elbow away from his ribs and sit in here. Yeah. So now from here now, I can move to side, control, attack that fat man choke that we did week one. I'll come down his face, go high elbow as I get to my knees so I don't lose this arm. And then my partner is pulling onto the side so I can't get the fat man. Then I grab the neck, punch my left arm through, switch the hands, grab my bicep or my forearm in this position. And this hand is important, really important that this hand comes high. Now for me to finish my dart, I can put my head on the floor. I can walk to the mount and drop my hips. Now let's say I get to the dart and I'm trying to get to the mount, but Jay's right arm's blocking my hip. Exactly. So I can't get to the mount. So all I'm going to do now is literally get my knees off the floor. I'm going to grab the back of his neck again. And I'm going to grab the bottom lat. So I'll keep control, but now it's giving me enough room to be able to do a forward roll. Now I end up here. So now I'm on this lat and I'm on the neck, which allows me now to re-lock my darts, walk, lead him with my hips, and finish the darts. Now if I end up in this position, and I'm trying to finish this darts, my partner sometimes can take the back to the mat, so I can't finish. So if they start doing that, I disconnect my grip again, I'm on the lat and the neck. I look away from my partner and go back and roll. And now I end up back here where I can re-lock. And this time I'm just going to sprawl it. Finish my dash though. Okay. One more time. So I've gone cradle. I grab the wrist. Remove it from his rib. And come chest to chest, uh, rib to rib here. And grab his hip on my back hand. I scrape down his face, I go high elbow and attack this fat man choke, but he's getting on his side so I can't get it. So I grab the back of his neck, I punch my left arm through, grab his neck with that arm. Switch my arms, lock my darts. I'm going to take my head to the mat and walk to the mount. Finish. Now this time I do that, he blocks me in. So I disconnect, I grab his neck so I'm keeping his head in tight. And I grab his bottom lat. I get my knees off the floor and literally do a normal forward roll. Now I can reconnect and walk. Now he takes his back to the floor, so I disconnect again. Look away. Backward roll. Relock and sprawl. Little sequence. 